Okay. To save it for Valentine's Day. It's our one month. One month? No, it's not. When did you start counting? From the first time she led. Okay, that's enough, Sebastian. When do you think we started counting? Babe, shh, Bass, wait. I just got a text from my friend at the Knights Daily. They're breaking the news that tomorrow morning there's going to be a 10% tuition hike for next year. 10%? Jesus. We're definitely going to use that for our next issue. Can we do a call for open submissions? That's a good idea. Photographers, I expect there'll be some protests. Get that? Essayist, I really want to coordinate with you what you're writing. Try I to... want to write an essay. You're a poet. I care about this. I want to write an essay for this issue. Wait, aren't you from like the Hamptons or something? I don't, I, what are you doing? Dude, I... let her write an essay. Prove to me you can do it, Eva. You have 500 words. I'll decide when they're done whether or not they make the cut. It didn't give a reason. <laughs> yeah, I know it's crazy. I don't know whether financial aid packages will be affected. Maybe I can pick up another job? Well, they didn't, I... Sebastian, stop distracting me. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> your face is distracting me. My face is distracting. Yes, your face is distracting. What you working on? The PSA. PSA. Uh, look, is is there anything in particular you want to do for Valentine's Day? Don't care. Don't care. You care about literally every single thing. Seriously, I don't mind. Whatever plans you have, I'll happily go along with them. Well, I do have one plan. Sebastian. Tell me to stop and I'll stop. I have... You have to keep quiet. This benefit toward a student's education should not be a detriment to that student's financial situation. President Cassidy is ultimately unable to provide a justifiable reason for this unprecedented tuition raise. Cool. That's it? Isabel. Um, it's nice. Eva, really, it's fine. It's just not the most personal, and because you're a rich kid, it sounds kind of preachy, but it's fine. Now, well, I can't help how I was raised. No, but maybe you shouldn't be the one writing this article, then. Well, then who should be? Mom's been calling every day asking if I have any news and I, I don't, I don't know what to tell her. I know. And meanwhile, they've been making cuts at my dad's plant and he's not that important there, so we don't know if he's gonna get cut too. Amy, you are so strong. Stop it. Really? I'm serious. I know this has been putting a lot of stress on you and forcing you to deal with things on top of all your work and stuff. Thank you. Happy Valentine's, Abe. Happy Valentine's, Alex. Thanks for letting me write the essay. I know I wasted a perfect Friday Valentine's. That's all right, I know it's important to you. And we have tonight. I got you this. Oh. <laughs>
Um, I know you're not really a journalist, but I thought you still might like it anyway. No. <laughs> Your coffee addiction is ridiculous. I need the energy for track. Eat a protein bar. You're an enabler. Do you like it? I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> you know, you're kind of my first boyfriend. I did know that. I mean, it's nice to have someone to spend this day with. It's nice to have someone to spend every day with. <laughs> Remember that conversation? Yeah. I'm ready now. the wrong way and I'm really sorry in advance if you think I'm taking advantage of you. Can I interview you for my essay on the tuition race? To Eva's first published essay. Hey Eva, great article. I really think it's some of your best work. Thanks Jamie, it means a lot. No joke, I'm gonna send a copy to Bennett in Vienna. He's just gonna fall in love with you. Who's Bennett? <laughs> you never saw. 